the dawn of dawn of, of this episode, of episode two of this anime is just absolutely just wild and crazy. And never basically would see an episode that you basically would usually see back in like in the, the 40s or the 50s, maybe the 60s, right around there, showing black and white, you know, what, what it used to be television back in the day and stuff like that. And seeing like a cartoon like, like Mickey Mouse, like, you know, draw, uh, like his first job being on the steamboat with the with the Pete, with the the guy who owns the boat and stuff like that, and just to, just to, just to see that, and based on this episode, episode also as well, because it kind of reminds me of that, because I was wasn't really quite a, quite expecting to be that the the, the first half of the of the episode, of of the uh, uh, the first half of, of the episode would basically turn into turn into basically a, a black and white kind of different version based on to the movie. But this is what I also like about this episode, which I think this is not the first time I've seen this, but this is also something that's also something that the levitation of the graphics of this of this anime is really stunning. It really actually is. But I kind of wonder like how did they did the camera these cameras on these angles of the of the episode as well too. It's kind of like the camera's like this way, the camera's like that way, that way is like this way. Multiple different areas I'd never seen and never seen them do based off this episode. It was just really actually was just crazy. It just really was. But I was just like, I was like, wow, this is really something else. And because uh, I, I was just going, it just really actually is. Now, one thing I definitely want to talk about is that I definitely want to talk about the MC business. And I would say both of them, or the MC, or I would say the, the main character. The geek guy, or was that or what that basically would say, based for the glasses on. One thing I really want to say here is basically is that he has to learn to control his spirit powers. He's going to have to learn to basically how to control them. If he cannot learn how to control them, then he may be then he may be fully possessed, basically to be into a spirit, or 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 whatever it is, or anything like that. And basically of that, based of that, I basically do think that there is a very good possibility. That's a very good possibility because if he allows to keep that having spirits go go on to him, then there might be a very good possibility that the spirit could totally possess him and may never be and he may never be be a human ever again. I don't mean to spoil, but that's what that's what basically what it feels to me basically at the end of the episode. One thing I like about the episode also well too is basically just seeing just seeing like the graphic like what you see right there basically in this anime. It's like he's wearing glasses and it's, it has like a a mask, kind of like a character from like My Hero, My Hero Academia, like something that you would see from there. It was absolutely legit. It was just awesome. I, I've never seen that kind of detail of a graphic just look like that. And by looking at him, like looking at him, he kind of looks like he's he's a guy, like a demon kind of guy. Like you know, he he likes to go skateboarding and stuff like that, or he's like wearing a suit and stuff like that. That's what it kind of basically feels to me. It's just like, he seems like he's really chill kind of dude and stuff like that. But his strength is just absolutely just incredible. That's something, that's something, that's something right, right, right there. But I still want to go back to the fact, I think the MC just, it just, he just needs some, needs a little time out for himself and needs to learn how to use the, use the how, the powers that he has. But like I said before, if he does not learn how to use the powers that he has, then there's a like a very good possibility he could be overtaken by the host, but with, with the host of, of the ghost or demon or monster, or whatever you want to call it, that he may never may never be a human ever again. That's a very good possibility. I want to press want to say this is that I think this episode kind of reminds me of, of Bleach, you know, like with Ichigo, Ichigo basically trying to control, trying to control the, the, the hollow effect that he, used to, that he used to have. And I think that's one of his most powerful techniques that he did. That he definitely that he definitely had and stuff like that because even though he didn't learn how to really basically use it but he had the people to help him out to base the control of the control of powers so that's why that's why i'm hoping basically in this anime i'm hoping that mc with the glasses on maybe he might learn might learn to learn how to control himself if he does like i said before if he does not learn how to control himself then he's going to be fully possessed by the spirit or the monster or Team or whatever you want to call it. Now, one other thing I definitely want to say also too, and I think this is for everyone to really to know and stuff like that. But this is the first time I've, I've heard about this. But this is a lot more different than anything than anything that I would basically see here in the United States. Basically, the United States. Let me put it this way for you guys to really understand. If let's say let's say there's a demon walking around and stuff like that, and 
wants to go go to a church, okay? Let's say go to any church, okay? Go, goes to any church, okay? If that were that demon or whatever it is, is that goes to go, goes to the church, that means that demon, the demon is inter interacting, interacting in God's presence, God's presence of the church, which means which means that would the demon would go by pastor, by pastor, the demon would probably would, but the demon would probably would die. But however, it may not be the case. It may not be the case because you just never, you just never know. I'm just using as just based on reference. I don't know if that's not really based on the case. But even though that's just as based on what I based on what I definitely think. But I also want people just to really just also to understand also too because with the talismans that they have. Uh, with, the, with the shrine, with that she lives with her grandma, with the place that's the shrine. What those talismans really actually means is that they were supposed to, they were supposed to the guard, they, they were supposed to be there for a purpose to protect them, to protect the family home from demons and stuff like that. That's kind of, that's kind of like, you know, basically like, you know, uh, Chinese people, they use like these things or something like that. I don't know what they're called. Uh, they're, they're supposed to uh, keep the demons out or away or something like that. I don't know much information maybe you guys can explain it to me i would appreciate that but uh, one, one thing i just i just really just want to say that that's what it basically it feels to me because i mean everybody goes through demons in their lives and something all of us do we all do and stuff like that and uh, basically it just basically you know that's what basically it feels to me one thing i've also want to mention is that basically that the girl with the, the base uh what the girl basically is, is I, mean, I happen to really do like her a lot and she's personally got, kind of be one of my favorites right now this season in this anime and person i really want to say is basically based on that is that that she is showing she's also showing a, a love condition for the mc and that that's that that's what i basically basically I definitely think is something that because when you get when you get like a girl like her basically a girl like her i mean you never know even though she was nice enough to stand up for him and basically in school and that stuff like that and i'm hoping that that does that does basically be the case basically in these upcoming upcomes of these uh of these episodes and stuff now from what i've heard i think this episode i think that the anime is going to go on go on 12 or 13 episodes i really do not know if that really is going to be the case or not i'm not one of the for sure if there's going to be season two of, of this anime there might be season two based on this anime which is something which is something i would definitely would definitely would love to see but i'm also kind of curious about what is going to go happen with see what was basically of the next episode of episode three i'm still going to continue watching this anime i definitely do like it and i'd like the, the direction where the anime is really actually going so i mean it's a 10 out of 10 for me i love it and i think it's, it's worth it's worth watching to me to me it really actually is and that's just my opinion but yeah it was that's it for uh for this anime uh anime and review. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like this episode? Do you guys don't like it? Do you guys think it was good? Do you guys think it was bad? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But yeah, anyway, this is Onyx. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care. I hope you have a one day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit a like one like. Give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs up. It doesn't matter to me. And leave a comment. Anyway, I love you guys. Take care. I hope you have a one day. Take care. God bless. Remember, just love you. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Everybody stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.